17 people were killed last February in Parkland, Florida. 26 and 7-year-olds were slaughtered in Sandy Hook in 2012, but the death toll keeps rising, including Parkland survivor Sidney Aiello, a 19-year-old graduate from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, whose close friend Meadow Pollock was murdered last Valentine's Day. Aiello killed herself last weekend. Her parents say she continued to live with survivor's guilt long after leaving the school and had been recently diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Soon after, Calvin Desir, a sophomore at MSD and a survivor of last year's mass shooting, he committed suicide too. Then there's Jeremy Richmond. His six-year-old daughter, Aviel, was one of the 20 children killed at Sandy Hook. Richmond was found dead yesterday morning at Newtown Town Hall, also of an apparent suicide. You know, it's hard to know just how much of a toll the suffering took on the three of them and the impact that conspiracy theorists' attacks on survivors had, many of them spurred on by the mad ravings of people like Alex Jones at InfoWars, who was being sued by Richmond and other Sandy Hook families over his claim that the victims of these mass shootings were nothing but crisis actors. But if all the world's a stage, the blood and anguish our gun culture has wrought is far too real especially for Richmond, who had to endure not just the pain of losing his daughter, but having to defend her existence, too. Like when Jones and his followers claimed the shooting was completely fake, a total hoax and a massive cover-up. And while some of the March for Our Lives kids were able to turn their grief into activism, even that may not be enough for others. Something Ryan Petty, the father of Parkland victim Alana Petty, he understands well. The trauma associated with what happened on February 14th last year is not over for this community. Unfortunately, sometimes it takes a tragedy or multiple tragedies to get the word out. Um, I, I'm not sure parents, I, I, I think we knew that some of our students were suffering, but sometimes we don't know which ones are suffering because they, they pretend things are okay. And he's so obviously right. According to the National Center for Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, 28% of people who witnessed the mass shooting developed the disease. And according to the Schools of Public Health at BU in Columbia, another 71% were diagnosed with depression. We know about these effects. They're clear and well-documented. And yet people like Sidney Aiello, Calvin Desir, and Jeremy Richmond still fell through the cracks. Their suicides are on our watch, and as Parkland survivor David Hogg tweeted, we should be spending all the money politicians want to spend aiming, arming teachers on something that will actually save lives like mental health care in our schools. Something you'd hope even the NRA-owned members of Congress should be able to agree with.